The printed circuit board is loaded with expensive components and it does not work. There is no starting over and the choices seem ominous. Scrap it or send it out. Either way, it's going to cost you. Do you also have a third option? IPC's rework, repair and modification training and certification program offers your company the money saving alternative. Fix it yourself. So let's take a closer look at the IPC 7711, 7721 training and certification program. And we are starting right now. What is going on? My name is Ramon Koch from ATEC Trainingen and welcome to another video in the series about the IPC training and certification programs. Would this be your first time here and you would want to learn more about IPC training, soldering or all types of other electronic industry stuff, start now with subscribing. Also click the bell so you do not miss anything. In this video, we are showing you the IPC 7711, 7721 training and certification program. So what is it and which training course topics are covered during the training course? If you're not familiar with IPC or the other training and certification programs, take a look at our other videos. And of course, we will put a link in the description below. Let's start with explaining that the IPC 7711, 7721 training is based on the corresponding IPC standard. This standard is about rework and repair requirements for printed circuit boards and assemblies. The IPC 7711, 7721 is the electronic industry standard for the guidelines on removing and replacing electronic components and repairing circuitry, whether for surface mount rework and repair or for conventional boards. It is designed to provide hands-on instructions and training on specific modules in the IPC Rework, Repair and Modification Guide. Students must rework, repair and modify acceptable workmanship samples. With every IPC training and certification program, there are three certification levels. If you like more information about these different certification levels, please watch our first video in this series after completing this video. In this first video, we explain the differences between CIS, CSE and CIT levels. The IPC 7711-7721 CIS training and certification course is an extensive four-day paragraph-by-paragraph review of the IPC standard. The CIT and CSE training and certification course is an extensive five-day paragraph-by-paragraph review of the IPC standard. The CIT will also receive a review of basic instructor skills so that the CIT knows how to conduct the CIS course. Depending on the certification level, at the conclusion of the course, all students will be subjected to open book written examinations. The CSE and CIT will also receive a closed book exam. All students, however, must perform acceptable rework and repairs based on the IPC 7711 7721 procedures. Students who successfully complete this course are awarded an IPC 7711 7721 CIS, CSE or CIT certificate. The certificate is always valid for two years. For students who have previously achieved their IPC 7711 7721 certification within the last two years a relevant recertification training course is also available. The recertification training course must be followed within six months before the certificate expires. So, what will you learn in this training course? Product classifications, skill levels, tools and materials, basic surface mount and through hole component removal, land preparation and component installation, primary heating methods, be it conductive, convective and others, handling of electronic assemblies, wire splicing procedures, through hole component removal and the installation, chip and melt rework procedures, SOIC, SOT, JLEAD and QFP rework, printed wiring board, circuit and laminate repair, conformal coating removal. If you want to see a complete overview of all modules, please visit our website. 
The website address will be posted in the description below. This was our video about the IPC 7711 7721 training and certification program. In other videos on this channel, we will explain all the other IPC training and certification programs. If you have a topic you want us to make a video about, please leave a comment down below and maybe we will make a video about this topic. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you next time.